Questions had been raised over the viability of the Okoa Kenya referendum drive as the campaign to amend the constitution appeared to have taken a backseat. But the body charged with driving the push for a referendum has broken its silence and on Wednesday came out to announce it has been working behind the scenes and is now already having collected the 1.4 million signatures required to begin the process of changing the constitution. We had a meeting yesterday with the Electoral Commission uh, together my, with my co-chair Senator Iseli and agreed on a date when these signatures are going to be presented. And that is going to be on the 4th of November uh, next year. Ne I mean, <laughs> next week. <laughs> next week. <laughs> the game plan will start the moment the signatures are presented to IEBC. And we, of course, hope that that uh, time will be covered as fast as possible. The handover event of the signature collection document by the Okoa Kenya Committee of Experts was well attended and it is here that CODE announced it will keep the momentum and have scheduled a meeting with the electoral body next week to present the necessary documents for verification. Signatures have been collected. They are more than enough. And now the formal journey begins. And this is a journey to overrule the executive on the several issues that are being fronted. So we're giving Kenyans a better idea. And this is what CODE and all Kenyans of goodwill coalescing into Okoa Kenya are ready, available, willing to give Kenyans this wonderful idea. Led by CODE leader Raila Odinga, the opposition leaders claimed that the initiative is people-driven and not an agenda of the opposition. Ya na upana mkubwa kushinda kodi. Na gurudumu hili, litasukumwa na wanainchi wa Kenya wenyewe. Kenyans across the country, enthusiastically, signed to this process. We are now on a journey that is not for cod, it's for the people of Kenya. They claimed that they were left with no choice after their calls for national dialogue fell on deaf ears. Tuliposema wako wa Kenya, nadhani wakati uli wakati wenzetu hawa jubili walikana mambo ya mazungumzo, aridhiano, kasema wawo wako sawa. Sasa habari ya kuoko wa Kenya wakati huu, yuko na umuhimu zaidi. Na wanainjo enyewe na nadhani wanaelewa sasa hivi. Vile mambo ya livyo. Hiyo drisha ya mazungumzo sasa tunafunga. Ikiwa kama tungeweza kukua na fursa ya kujadiliana kama wa Kenya, tungeleta vifungu mingi zaidi ya kufanya marikibisho. Kwa wawo nye tiyari unajua, nataka marikibisho. According to them, the referendum remains the only avenue to streamline pertinent issues affecting the country presently. Isisi tulikuwa najua, wakati tulikuwa tunaongea ati wakua wa Kenya tulijua sa, itakuja. Wakati imefika sasa. Sasa imefika wakati, wanaitaji kutoka kwa IMF, kutoka kwa World Bank, na sisi kama wa Kenya tunataka kujokoa. Eric Biagon reporting for Channel 1 News.